Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I got another quick tip video and this is going to be for you Honda owners out there. So if you own a Honda product, I want to say 08 and up, that has the 3.5 liter VCM motor, which is basically defined by the little eco uh, light on the dash. Typically, you'll know which one I'm talking about. That's Honda's uh, little cylinder deactivation technology. So for 08 and up, when this motor was introduced, there's always been one common issue that I see a failure pattern that's common enough and people don't get it right. And these things are old and sometimes mechanics still have trouble getting this. Now, there was even a recent Eric the Car Guy video where he had to work on his own Honda Odyssey. And for our purposes, we're working on an 08 Odyssey today as well. Um, and in his video, he had the same exact issue where his alternator went out and then he discovered that it was oily and you know he kind of did, I think, a two-part series on it where he thought, let's replace this try it out and he still had a leak and then he had to go back in there a third time if I'm not mistaken. So I waited because I wanted to make my version of this uh, because I just kind of want to cut to the chase. Uh, there's no reason to really make this too drawn out. So we have a 2008 Honda Odyssey. It has around 150,000 miles. The backstory on this is that the vehicle owner, uh, they had an alternator issue. Uh, they told me they replaced their own alternator and then about a week later they had another failure. Uh, the issue that they saw both times and the first time they didn't pay attention to it But they noticed the alternator was very oily and greasy Which is typically oil leaking on the alternator very common issue on these and then the second alternator failed because a similar thing happened and um, They went ahead and they got the alternator replaced again And I'm not too sure if they did their own valve cover gasket or someone did it for them But they said they did the valve cover gasket with the alternator the second time and they have another oil leak because they've been keeping their eye on it. It's just consistently leaking and he couldn't figure it out. Now, I've seen shops get this wrong. I've seen people on YouTube, you know, kind of play around with it when it's actually quite simple. And I'm going to show everyone uh, what the leak is and what the solution is if you want to do it on the quick, cheap and easy side. So let's go ahead and get a look at our vehicle. So we are looking at our vehicle and our engine. We're going to remove this little beauty cover that I previously just left loose and sat on top of there, but usually they don't come off that easy. And our main area that we're going to focus in is right over here. Let me grab my lighting and show everyone what typically happens to these and what you typically expect. So if we get a zoom in here, I'm sure everyone will see we have our brand new alternator right there. You can see it's nice and shiny. Now our valve cover gasket has been replaced too. You can see the little blue grommets on there. That indicates it's a Feld Pro usually. And if we look right in this general area, I don't know how well the lighting is doing because this light may be overkill. You'll notice that there is oil there. And what typically will happen on these is that the valve cover gasket will leak in this corner and get all over the alternator and then what can also happen is right on the cover or right next to the cover you guys notice from here to here this is our spool valve i believe is what honda calls them and these have a gasket on the bottom with a sandwich plate and another gasket and typically that's where the oil leaks out of and it winds up getting all over your alternator now whether you replace your valve cover gasket uh, or not these are typically the source of this now the valve cover gasket on this car I'm sure was leaking this thing has some miles on it But at the end of the day if you're doing the valve cover gasket Don't forget about this VTEC spool valve because that's another very common failure point That'll save you from replacing your alternator two times or three times or however many times this vehicle has had an alternator done on there So now that we kind of know what to look for Let's go ahead and show you the fix for it if you want to do it on the quick and easy. So if you're just looking for a quick, easy fix that you could just pick up at any parts store, you could always go this route with the doorman, and that is the part number. Now, I would check Fitment application. I don't know if they have any differences from 08 uh, to up on the VCM motors, but basically in this package, and I keep these here because, you know, we always get these in the shop. Usually we, we'll run through two or three of these a month. Um, you basically pull out your little bag and you'll see now I'm not going to open this because I want to keep this as clean as I can Because uh, we do use these quite a bit. You have your sandwich plate 
And if you flip it around, you have your uh, two gaskets, one with the screen, I believe. Yep, one has a screen, and the other one is just a uh, O-ring gasket. And they also give you the three bolts that you need, uh, the hardware, to go ahead and replace it. And what you would simply do is unbolt that VTEC solenoid or spool valve, whatever you prefer to call it, uh, with the three bolts, get it out of there, and basically new gaskets, new sandwich plate, new hardware. I mean, overall, the job shouldn't take more than about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on, you know, how fast you want to do it. But that's usually the quick, easy way to do it. And like I said, I stock these. I, I keep quite a few because we run through these. Now, ideally, you would want to replace these with Honda gaskets, even though I use the Dorman kit. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't had too many failures or issues with these. They've been pretty good. The seal and the gasket has been pretty good for as uh, long as I've been using them. I only had one where it was leaking, and I think it was because I pinched it on accident, but again, it is what it is, but um, to stock the Honda ones, I mean, it's more expensive. I believe these kits at any auto parts store are about $20, maybe $30, depending on where you get them from, so this is the best alternative versus Honda. I, I think they're roughly around the same cost or a little bit more, but either way, getting the Honda genuine parts, sometimes you got to wait versus these are readily available. So. That's the fix for it. Um, if you have a Honda, whether it's an Odyssey, a Pilot, whatever has a VCM motor in it basically, and your alternator has oil all over it, and you can't figure out what's leaking on it causing it to fail, always uh, check out your spool valve or your gaskets on your spool valve. Now, 99% of the time, I'm just gonna make this uh, as an announcement, it's not the spool valve, and I would not replace the original spool valve that Honda has put on there with an aftermarket one, because usually that'll lead to issues. Uh, I've seen a ton of those fail, whether you buy them at an auto parts store or, you know, like a, a premium aftermarket supplier, they always have issues. So never say, oh, screw it, I'm going to buy a spool valve, because you can get a whole spool valve for about 150 bucks and throw it in there. You might think you're doing yourself a good justice, but in the end of the day, it's not really helping you out. Uh, either replace the gaskets on your Honda one with this or with Honda gaskets, but do not replace your original Honda spool valve for an aftermarket one, unless you want to go back in there in a month or two. So that pretty much sums up this video. Uh, hopefully this quick tip helps everyone out there because I've seen it all too often and uh, it's very surprising that mechanics and, and you know people out there doing this uh, don't just do the valve cover along with these gaskets as well. I mean, it's right there. It doesn't take that much more. So hopefully this video helps somebody out if you need it, if you have this issue, because it's a lot easier and cheaper to replace these than having to replace the alternator every couple months or weeks or whatever. So like always, comment, like, and subscribe, guys, because it definitely helps the channel grow. I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I will catch you on the next video.